What about me? I'm kind of a funny guy. I don't take things too serious. I know a lot of goalies get the stereotype for being, you know, a little bit uh, odd or whatever, but, you know, don't quote me on this, but I've had a lot of people I've played with over the years tell me I'm the, the most normal goalie that they've played with. So I like to keep things light. I'm not too serious on game days. Um, you know, I feel like that's the, the best player I am is when I'm light. So I first got introduced um, last summer. Um, the buddy that I was working out with during COVID, I was in his garage. Um, and after workouts, he kept saying like, come on, let's go play pickleball, let's go play. And I was like, dude, no, there's, that's, that's not a sport for us, that's for old people. And he finally dragged me to the courts and I was like, all right, I could, I could probably see myself playing this. And then uh, this summer when I got back from Bemidji, um, I had bought a paddle and ended up going and just played a lot this summer. So I just kind of got into it this summer and, and kept going. Oh, cut that one out, cut that one out. I've been kind of big into ping pong my whole life. So I kind of see a resemblance in ping pong and also like a lot of hand-eye stuff. I kind of feel like with playing goalie, um, a lot of hand-eye coordination and, and being you know, active with my hands, that, that plays a big role in this game too. And um, when people find out that I'm playing against that I'm a goalie, they can definitely tell. I would rather hit or catch a pickleball that I'm not supposed to than dodge a hockey puck. <laughs> yeah. That's my philosophy. When you have 13 new players on a team, you got to find any extra way you can to, to come together. And again, that's a good part about so many guys choosing to come early in the summer is, is being able to build that team chemistry early and getting to know each other and, and finding ways to be competitive uh, with each other because you know once the season comes, you're going to be battling you know, day in and day out with each other um, on the same team. So it's good to get that going early. Actually, last week we had about six, seven, eight guys out here playing. Um, there's a couple guys who have extra paddles, so we're, we're passing them around, growing the game. Um, it's just kind of a fun activity to, to get your mind off of hockey in the offseason here where you can come, you can have grab four guys, go play, and, and have that competitiveness outside of hockey. Um, it's been good for us, I think. This part right here is just the part of the game that's a, absolutely addicting to me. The, hand-eye coordination is actually the biggest thing because you know that wiffle ball comes at you pretty fast when you when you get up to a higher level so to be able to have that hand-eye coordination to get the ball back over to the other side um, that's the most enjoyable part for me is is getting in those kind of firefights we call them back and forth and letting my hand eye and my hands do the work I took my first unofficial here um, eight years ago so from 2013 to 2021 is when I, how long it took me to commit. It was either 2013 or 2014 before a game, I think they were playing Duluth and I have a picture of Carl and I standing on the bench. So it's probably the longest college recruiting that's ever taken place. I've hit about every stop in the road that you can, um, from three junior leagues to three colleges. I don't know um, how many players at the collegiate level can say that, I guess, but I'm a really big believer in that everything kind of happens for a reason and each stop that I've made has made me a better person and a better player. So I've learned something at each spot and I wouldn't trade the path that I've been on for anything because I think um, this is where I'm supposed to be this year and um, keep continuing to develop as a person, as a player and do the best I can on the ice to, to win hockey games here. <laughs>